By the way, let me remind you, I'm a chronically homeless man of many years and the first person I believe in the United States of America, maybe the world, maybe, to have psychiatrically managed chronic PTSD among other issues treated with medical cannabis and the fact that people have hoodwinked and shenaniganed me and this guy Justin Corbett sorry I get upset but I'm gonna let it fly because guess what instead of sending a brother some food money or some herb money you criticize and then you insult and that's not okay. That's not grown up behavior. And I'm glad you're magic too. Whoop de whoop de do. Watch me get mad. It's your fault, not mine. So, a brother gets an Easter present. Gets some hair clippers, cuts their hair. Starts assessing things. Gets insulted by some fucking asshole from resting from my childhood saying I'm smoking Delta 8 which is an insult to the entire movement the entire Washington DC cannabis community in the world you fucktard Justin Corbett other than that I feel great actually and yeah I get mad and I vent luckily I've got preventive measures across the street over there and preventive measures is starting me on some counseling. I had a federal judge order an agency last year to give me counseling when I was in mental health courts and that agency never even followed up or did that or supported me when I lived in a tent like they were supposed to. So, preventive measures is there, MBI is there for me, Miriam's Kitchen is there for me, and Friendship Place is there for me, the SOAR program is there for me, Charlie's Place is there for me, Shirley's Place is there for me. 1313 is there for me. I'm sure I'm missing somebody. Anyways, you should never ever say that I'm smoking Delta 8 or even insult the shop where I get my cannabis from, which is Doobie District. People have their favorite places to shop. I have my favorite place to get my medical cannabis. Now, Dicktard says Delta 8. Where do you live now anyways, bro? Now that you say that your mom's fucking demented, but she's normal when I talked to her last year at her house, dummy. Are you in Asheville? Are you a hipster in Asheville? Or you live in some other hipster community like Winchester, where you're a house painter and you get wasted and talk shit about fucking cannabis versus Delta 8, you dickhead. So I get mad, so what? Hoo-ha. La, la, la. <laughs> And yes, I'm sitting on top of an electrical box while the police drive by. What the fuck? They don't care neither. They hate the government too. Why do you think everybody who's not white joined the military and the police in D.C.? Not to be white. <laughs> and no, I'm not white. I'm Slovak and Irish, you dumb fucks. Happy jolly day. Watch me get mad. Okay, so this is the message I received from Justin Corbett. So I'm posting about my cannabis and how I'm smoking it. And then he chimes in some stuff about you're smoking Delta 8 LOL. Then he says something about me. Whatever he's saying, I'm not kosher with it. And as we move forward, what happens? Nah, this ain't right. Hold on. This is the one here. Fuck you, liar. Exactly when and where. I never did that. See, all I remember is you being a terrible painter at All American Painters. You should stop smoking and Jesus fucking fake shit. You're stupid, dude. Just stop, poser. Hardcore resting. Where are you from? Cur boy, thanimal, resting. Richie puss, poser. Fuck you, boy. And I'm looking at this like, really, man? Like, you're you're the dude who's like, a painter i'm an artist man so i block you then i unblock you and i get upset because i know who you are justin corbett and i know that you're you're just an idiot for picking on a chronically homeless man for many years now who's indigent 
who uses medical cannabis probably as the first medical psychiatric patient legally for chronic PTSD in the federal eyes and in government. So like, what is wrong with you, bro? And I don't smoke Delta 8 and you insult everybody in the world who's worked towards this by saying that. So then I say something like, nice, keep it up. And that's it. Like, and I express my anger and then I let it go. Because what do I do? I'll continue to do the same thing, which is try and figure out what happened to me and then work on making my life better for myself and for other people. So yesterday, some white guy from Reston, Virginia, insulted the cannabis I smoked and said it's probably Delta 8. And then when I responded online, he started calling me all kinds of names. Hey, white boy from Reston, come into the DC and get with reality and quit trying to scam everybody else who's not from here so that they don't buy this weed that's here in DC that's really good chronic and really well priced because all y'all suburban people and people in Reston and the suburbs are still trying to fool people. So you just come into the city, you buy it yourself legally, and then you go and sell it in the suburbs for more. A Justin Corbett, Mr. White Boy who insults me from Reston, Virginia. Justin, big man, brother of Brendan and Justin. I mean, Greg, brother of Greg and Brandon, Brendan, whatever, and Justin Corbett, the middle-aged hippie one who shaved his long hair off, who now calls me a poser and insults me. Bro, I'm Mr. Fuzzy. Come see me. We should talk about this this insinuation that you made that Doobie District sells fake weed. Justin Corbett accused me of having fake cannabis, which is Delta 8, which Doobie District sells 100% real cannabis. And when you insult people with your giggly, drunk, drug addict attitude of a washed up house painter, that's what you are, Justin Corbett, a washed up house painter with no family. I don't think you're married or have any children, which leads me to believe a few things about you. And since you like to call me all these names and insult the cannabis here in D.C., I suggest you bring your big, smart, resting self to the city and talk to me. Of course, now your rich friends had me banned out in Reston, didn't you? So, I, I again recommend you come to the city. And if you're one of the gang people, like some of the other people from Reston, Justin, just ask for permission. Trust me, your gang leaders will give you permission to come and see me, Justin. Come on, Justin Corbett. Oh, my bad. I just woke up to you being an asshole to me online for the second day in a row. Tell you what, Justin, you smoke your Delta 8 and we'll smoke the chronic here in D.C. And you keep trying to trick people so you can keep hoodwinking them out where we live at. You probably out in the country somewhere now. You probably rich. You got a farm or whatever you got, you washed up piece of crap. And again, bring the insults, bring yourself, bring the Wu Tang. Where are you? One of the best things, or maybe the not so best things, is growing up right here near Washington, D.C. in Fairfax County when it was the richest place in the world or reported to be so. And what's more fun than having all the richest families in the world who travel with diplomatic immunity or disregard for borders because of their government, secret agency, or military status, what's more fun than having those people watch you online? And this is the same community where the internet and the first public um, email server on AOL was founded in Reston, Virginia, right? And so now they watch me online, and every once in a while some stupid idiot decides to chime in and try and insult me. Here's your case in point. And the thing is this. When you make suffering your entertainment, when you chime in after I've been homeless for years, you never chimed in to help me, but now you chime in to insult what I've been working on 
and to actually insult what other people have been working on here in Washington, D.C. for the whole planet. We are leaders. Unfortunately, people I grew up around in Reston, Virginia, like to make a joke out of my suffering and chime in every once in a while. Why? Why does anybody think anything about suffering is entertaining or funny? You know, some of these people I grew up around in Reston, Virginia, they called themselves homeless when they were 19 or 20. It's because they all jumped in a car and went to Florida or somewhere else and then went batshit crazy until their rich parents bailed them out. Now some of them watch me suffer and make jokes about it online or among their friends and their circles and their gossip. And unfortunately, now someone's decided to start insulting the medication that I smoke, medical cannabis, and it's real. And if the same people who used to sell swag, dirt, shit weed with stuff sprayed on it, now insult me for my cannabis, you guys suck ass and you should probably just get drunk. Because y'all don't just use cannabis, y'all just get wasted still, even in your 50s and 60s. Oh well. Ain't Delta 8. No one should ever talk shit about DC weed, medical cannabis, especially Delta 8, especially about my people's shop, the Doobie District, here in Washington, DC on U Street. Clowns be chiming in from my childhood, laughing at my suffering for years, making entertainment and social commentary, helping to put me in jail and shit, and then chiming in on some dumb shit and calling my weed Delta 8. Now, fuck you. That's why I go to church, you peckerwood fucking hippie bitch, whatever the fuck you are. CIA family cocksucker, Justin Corbett. Yes, I'm upset. Because you all watched me for years, homeless as fuck, and don't help me. Or buy me lunch with Uber Eats, which every modern dumb fuck knows about. Where's your dumb ass at? I'll send you Uber Eats, whatever you want. Here's a couple steak and cheeses. And that's why I love DC. And that's why. And that's why. Tranquilo de la Manca. So, anyways, I think I'm gonna head over to Pentagon Row and see what's going on in Virginia. And maybe get a pair of shoes. Cause these ones have broke. Okay. And the thing is, is I've had clowns online insult me and laugh at me for having broken shoes and not buy me shoes. People I grew up around who call me brother till the end from Reston, Virginia. People call me Than Vistos or Than Vistos in high school in my whole life until my mid forties. Than Vistos, Than Vistos. My name is Nathaniel or Nate now because Than means death. You packer woods. Now this is when you get to watch me be angry. But then I cut my hair and I'm not Mr. Fuzzy anymore, so I feel much better. And enjoying the sunshine here in Washington, D.C., down near the Anacostia River.